Hi, Gemma. It is such a treat to get to talk to you today. So I was telling somebody yesterday that I was going to be meeting with you to talk about indoor 5G. And that person said, indoor 5G? What is that? Isn't that just regular 5G? So I wanted to ask you, would you explain to everyone what exactly is indoor 5G and why is it important? That is an excellent question, Diana. So let's take an example. Um, you're on your way to grab some lunch and you're watching a football match on your phone in 4K resolution. Your team's winning, everything's going great. But when you step inside a shopping mall, the stream freezes and your connection drops. Um, then you realize that you may have missed something important in the game and that you may need to log into public Wi-Fi, which is totally fine, but it takes a bit of effort and it's not always as reliable or secure. And I think this is an example of an immediate kind of day-to-day -day need or frustration that we can all face, which is essentially poor indoor mobile coverage. And this is a, a big deal because we spend actually around 90% of our time indoors and up to 80% of mobile data is actually consumed inside. But the majority of subscribers are unsatisf unsatisfied with their indoor connectivity. And that's because we have these outdoor 5G networks today with this super speedy um, connectivity of low latency and all these, these benefits that 5G brings. But 5G signals can't actually get through into buildings very well. And in places like offices and airports and shopping malls and stadiums where you have loads and loads of people, it's even harder to guarantee that, that seamless, speedy experience. Um, so when we talk about indoor 5G, what we're really talking about is a dedicated indoor network that allows people to benefit from this seamless mobile experience and secure connectivity wherever they are in any building, not just when they're outside. I love that. You described that perfectly. And if anyone would like to learn more about Indoor 5G, they can click on the link above and visit our blog post. So Gemma, when you and I started talking about indoor 5G about a month ago, you said something to me that has always stuck with me and I was wondering if you could elaborate on it. And I'm gonna read now because it's a quote, so I wanna make sure I get it right. You said, capacity demand is going to keep growing with more and more data hungry 5G applications entering our daily lives. This makes high performing indoor 5G networks a key enabler for our digital future. So could you elaborate a little more on that? <laughs> wow, that was a mouthful, thanks. Um, yeah, so I think what I'm trying to say is that when we talk about indoor 5G, capacity is really important. So globally, the average monthly usage per smartphone now exceeds 15 gigabytes a month and it's forecasted to reach 46 gigabytes per user per month by the end of 2028. So in, in densely, yeah, and in densely populated areas like big offices, airports, stadiums, shopping malls, you need to guarantee gigabit speeds for everybody in that space. Um, obviously, that places super high demands on the network. And as more people and devices continue to connect to the mobile network, the demand for data capacity increases. So if I put it into real world context, if it takes like one like megabit per second to send an email in a second or stream a song, um, with no problems, that's fine. But then if you have a hundred or a thousand people streaming in 4K and HD video, for right. example, in an office with video conferences, and on top of that, you need people to be able to download and upload files super fast, then you start throwing oh. extra devices into the mix. <laughs> like for example, at Ericsson today, a lot of us have now got 5G enabled laptops, which is super fun. And then you have things like IoT sensors and other kind of building applications. And that's not even taking into account AR and VR and all the other fun technologies around the corner that the industry is talking about, like holographic communications. And, and these things add even more 
data demand on the network, which is just a recipe for a massive capacity mm. need. Right. Um, so essentially, it's high capacity in dot 5G systems that will be needed to support this kind of full scale societal digitalization. Thank you, Gemma. And if you would like to learn more about Indoor 5G, just click on the link above. Hi, Gemma. I love this question I'm about to ask you. I can't wait to hear the answer. You and I have talked about a lot of different fun indoor 5G use cases. Which one is your favorite and why? And I know it's hard to choose, but for this, you have to choose one. <laughs> yeah, it's super hard. Um, okay, so I'm going to have to go with some sort of retail and shopping use case, I think. <laughs> um, so uh, firstly, just guaranteeing a seamless connectivity experience from outdoor to indoor is a good start. Oh, um, okay. I love food and I love cooking. And I live in Sweden. And for some reason, a lot of the supermarkets here have pretty bad indoor coverage. Oh. And the amount of times I've been Googling like, oh, what to do with spinach and uh -huh like celery in a supermarket and like my phone just stops working it's it's insane um and I think we're all a bit guilty of being on a team's call here and there when you're picking up some milk and then the call drops and you're like no so that's that's like the basic need um but then if I think about further use cases um I was talking to one of our customers recently about how high capacity indoor 5g can actually help retailers enhance the shopping yeah. experience for mm -hmm. example by bringing these you know augmented reality apps yeah. in store to overlay promotions or exactly. uh, personalize the, the shopping experience and and i think that would be really cool to see well just so you know here in the united states I can't get coverage inside the supermarket either. I think maybe it's a conspiracy or something. I don't know. <laughs> but I like the one you picked. And if you would like to learn more about indoor 5G and all the fun use cases and why it's going to be so important in our very near future, just click on the link above. Hello, Gemma. I love talking about sustainability in the context of Indoor 5G. Can you explain to everyone how Indoor 5G can help businesses achieve their sustainable technology goals? Yeah, so there's a couple of ways you can look at this. Um, firstly, cellular digital transformation helps businesses increase efficiency and sustainability. So, for example, indoor 5G can be used to support intelligent automation and real-time monitoring and control of manufacturing processes in a factory, for example, um, and also supports things like precise asset tracking, uh, perhaps in a warehouse. So by optimizing these processes, um, factories can essentially do more with, with less energy and resources. Right. Um, and then if you look at it from the real estate uh, perspective, so shopping malls and offices and these kind of multi-tenant buildings, uh, 5G connected smart building applications and IoT sensors can also allow them to help um, optimize their the use of their utilities and reduce energy consumption, for example, by automatically turning off lights or understanding people flow within right. the building and heating and controlling uh, yeah. you know, all sorts of systems. So, so that's something that gives them a level of visibility that can help them reach their sustainable goals. And then if you look at it more from the technology solution perspective um, with indoor 5, 5G systems, I mean, Historically speaking, in-building wireless networks have uh, have been built in a in a fairly uh, power-hungry way. But with Ericsson's new indoor five G solutions, building owners can actually allow multiple service providers to connect to one set of infrastructure, which obviously reduces the amount of equipment needed and it keeps the power consumption down uh, massively compared to legacy indoor connectivity technologies so it's kind of two different yeah are you talking about the radio dot system 
I am. <laughs> those radios are so light. Like a toddler could pick it up. I yeah. Mean, honestly, right? I couldn't believe it. Amazing. Yeah, Ericsson's prettiest product. I mean, I'm biased, <laughs> but I, I, I think they are. <laughs> oh, sleek. Well, if you would like to learn more about Indoor 5G, just click on the link in this post.